All right, welcome back. We've restarted everything and hopefully it'll work now. Let's go back into Oxenfree. I see it. <laughs> I feel it. I feel the cosmos. I feel the cosmos. Okay. We are heading toward Milner Outpost, going to save Clarissa. Uh, Ren went to go hang out with Nona at the comm tower. And we just came from the relay point. Uh, what it's is one. Can anyone hear me? Anybody? Clarissa? Damn it, is, is this thing working? If anybody can hear me, I'm at Fort Milner in the, uh, I think, crap, I think in the gym or something. Well, she's around here somewhere. I was worried, honestly, that she, um, might have left. She sounded weird. Like, not just staticky weird. It could be the system, or whatever, just the equipment making her sound deformed. Hmm. What do you think? Ren said something about Fort Milner being decommissioned, right? But, and hear me out, what if it isn't? What if they just said it was decommissioned, and there's, like, still people, like, in there, like, doing stuff? I think if they had alien autopsies or whatever you're suggesting is happening in there, we'd have been taken out by snipers about 50 paces back. <laughs> Maybe. But listen, like, what if, just, what if all the stuff that's, like, happened to us, the stuff we've been seeing is, like, the direct result of some government secret project? Like, like Black what if Mesa. Some, um, experimental uh, program or something. In sure. I mean, I'm kind of in no place to toss aside any reason for what's been going on. So, yeah, it's the government. Let's go with that. <gasps> government. It's just my going premise right now. So, I don't know. Keep a tally. Hi, Senzalu and Ployjo. How are you guys? Hello. Welcome back from work. And officially, hello, Azura. Thank you again for joining officially. us today. And Nihab, of course. Yeah. Uh, she didn't go in the door. She did not go in the door. Spacebar did not open the door? That's, that's Space bar did not seem to open the door. Pop down. There you go. Oh, a little pop down. Zena's not feeling enthusiastic. Oh, that's too bad. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm not super up on it either. First days on jobs, though, are always tough. Oh, I think they were supposed to do all that talking while I was walking through. Yeah, maybe. But <laughs> but I'm always nervous I'm going to miss something, so... Well, it'll give us some time to chat. Yeah. And look at all the things, like that light that's totally there. Clarissa! Ugh. Where are you? He's yelling. Clarissa! Oh, forget it. Oh, when I start calling out, then forget it. Okay, their voice is a little annoying when you yell, but that's not why I said forget it. Oh. Oh, okay. He's not getting many brownie points for being a brother. No. I don't think you've missed much, Ployjo. We just started the stream right now. Yes. Uh, should I go to the door or... The light. Do I still have the beer from the beginning of the game? Why? What do you mean? She keeps, she keeps like, doing a drinking motion. I can't tell. She's too small for me to see. See? Oh. <laughs> Maybe. She's had that beer for approximately four hours. So she's really nursing it. I don't, is she even holding anything, though? It doesn't look like it, but if you look at her arm, it's kind of crooked. And then she keeps drinking. <laughs> yeah, I see the, the up and down, yeah. Maybe it's like Sully's invisible cigar. She has an invisible beer. Here, I'm going to go in the it's store. Like, it's not locked. There's like something blocking it. Can you use the radio Marissa? on it? She wouldn't have barricaded herself inside, right? Hey, what do you think? Keep looking. Uh, let's keep I think looking. We should keep looking. You're probably right. You're probably correct. Should we do the radio? We can try. Ooh, Nihab has popcorn and a berry smoothie. Ooh, that sounds nice. And then Zenzolo, for some reason, said birthday cake slurpee, which sounds like something made up. But yeah, that sounds weird. But I have... I wonder, could this be one of them, them booby traps? Bugs Bunny? 
Me. Yeah. Me. <laughs> I was distracted by Bugs Bunny. I wondered, could and then it just loops. <laughs> <laughs> that that made me want to like turn off the stream right now and go watch Looney Tunes. Azura thinks she's licking the radio. <laughs> she could be licking the radio. We're not sure. You know, stick a 9 volt to your tongue. This is Oris and Wells. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Well, it's not glowing, so maybe try the red lamp. Yeah, let's go try the red lamp. That's crazy. I've never heard what. I was gonna ask, what does the birthday cake Slurpee taste like? But I suppose it's birthday cake. That seems like a weird taste for like a slushy. Well, I saw that. Um, is it maybe it's like Sonic or Jack in the Box places I've never been to, but yeah. they have a Captain Crunch milkshake, I think. Oh, really? With bits of Captain Crunch. Oh. Which is just like razor blade shavings. Ugh. Yuck. Okay. Put your beer down. We have radio to do. Or pour the beer on the radio. Ooh, that's an angry looking radio. I think we're on to something. The light is making sounds. That's good. Yeah. Okay, yeah, keep that going. Keep got it going. Oh. Yep, this is good. We're on it. Dinner time. It's never too late to make dessert. Not anymore. <laughs> what the hell is this? It's the dump Do cake you ad. Want to play yeah. a game? No. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Do we want to go right, play a so game? I know the answer is no, but <laughs> I kind of do have to find Clarissa, so. Let's just ignore the question and thank the weird radio men for the door. Sure. So I'm trying really hard to find that that space where I can I can still answer, but let them finish talking, and I'm not really succeeding. You know, I think Alexa just cuts people off. Is there anything over there? Should I check it out? Yeah, her name's Alex, right? Not Alexa. It's Alex, yeah. I think Alex is just rude. She just cuts people off. Oh, that door looks open. Before we go play a game with oh. undoubtedly someone very creepy, we should right. look at what's going on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at the sign. Photography prohibited. That is a very serious sign. Restricted. Keep out. Now they're not messing around. The <sighs> Don't worry about it. Kids do this all the time. The worst that happens is you snag yourself on a nail or something and have to go get a tetanus shot. <laughs> oh, this doesn't look good. No. Firing range. Oh, okay, that's all right. Spooky. Yeah. You ever fired a gun? No. Never really wanted to either. Yeah, me neither. My grandfather had a a snub-nosed centennial. Even small, they're heavy. I never liked it. Let's see what the radio says. Fort Milner was the home of the U.S. Army Radio Communication School, ah, radio. which saw more than mm -hmm. 100,000 students take its curriculum. During the years it was open, the school trained troops from the various armed services in applied oral communication, radio and TV broadcasting, telecommunications, and what was then state-of-the-art techniques in code breaking using an early form of computer technology. The school was moved to Fort Baxter in Southern California when the post closed in 1974, and it still resides there to this day. Hmm. Interesting. 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 Thank you, Radio Man. Nothing going there with the door? Um. Oh, I thought it was open, but I guess not. She just kind of kicked it. Oh, really? When you yeah. get space on it? Yeah, she just kind of kicked oh, it, weird. and now I can't do anything. <laughs> well, we so, kicked it. So, we kicked that door. Is that a pile of rocks down there by the little light post? Uh, I can't tell. Let, oh. Let's check it out, just to be sure. Let's see if those are some angry rocks. Let's see if they're angry rocks. Okay. Oh, they might be. They seem like they're probably pretty, pretty perturbed. Uh, low frequency radio wave is in 
incidence upon a body of radio waves travel forever until it is absorbed by matter or a person. Ooh, spooky. Very spooky. You're right, that was a pile of rocks. I would have missed that. Azura's got the good eye. Call oh, out. thank you, Azura. Yeah, if you guys spot any rocks, let us know and we'll, well, there's, we'll try there's to catch them. Well, there's some delay, them. so let's... Yeah, there is some delay, but we will try to catch them. Okay, so we gotta go in the spoopy door. We gotta go in the spoopy door. I think... Yeah, I really think she's still drinking the beer we got on the beach. Or, or and maybe I be. and maybe I was supposed to be I was supposed to have put it down at some point and I didn't. I don't think she's holding anything really though in her hand. Yeah. She seems to just think she has beer. <laughs> and you know that's probably a story element. Maybe. Who knows? Oh hi Ginger and Kirby, welcome back. Hello. Okay, I don't I don't know if I want to play this game. Why? <laughs> cause oh, cause the spooky ghost says want to play a game. And then open the door. Nah, it's, so I'm guessing game. there's something in here. Monopoly or chess? Maybe. Oh, no, 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 no. I agree with you. Don't be locked. Come on. Well, we didn't really need to go back anyway. That's right. right? He's doing Unless you a favor. there's no way out, then yes, we might have. Well, Clarissa got in through some other door, so we should be fine, hypothetically speaking. Um, speaking of which, she dated Michael? Is that right? Uh... Clarissa did, yeah. <sighs> yes, quite annoyingly. I mean, was he the type of guy that would go for that, like, sort of thing? <laughs> what sort of thing? I'm just trying to... What sort of thing? <laughs> what do you mean? You know, like, intense, I guess is the word I'm trying to find. I mean, just from what I've heard of him, like that one story about the cops just straight buying him a beer? Just, what? What would a guy like that see in her? Like, at least at the start, there must have been something, right? I don't you know, know, Jonas, frankly, I don't really know, and I don't really care, so... All right, hey, it's old news, I get that. It's just, uh, interesting, I guess, to me. <laughs> all right, Jonas. Look, it really wasn't a big deal. That's all. I believe you, I believe you. Yeah, Clarissa uh, did date Michael. Yeah, that was a weird... Before he, uh, died. Yes. That was Alex's yes. older brother. Yeah, Alex's older brother dated Clarissa. Uh, can you imagine sleeping here? I'm trying not to. But why would the construction guys leave the bed frames? Seems kind of, I don't know, kind of morbid. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just strange to see it like this. There's, this game is kind of a lot of high school drama. Yes. With but, it is shadowed with spooky ghosts. Yes. Stuff like this, I always thought it was pretty. Kind of like, I don't know, kind of like the buildings being reclaimed by the trees and the soot and the soil, you know? Well, right now it just looks like scary tentacles, so. Fair enough. Oh. <laughs> oh, poor Ginger. Yes, Michael was Alex's older brother. He died. It was an off-screen death, like... Yeah, years we, ago. we don't know what happened. We don't know what, how, but it caused her parents to get divorced, and then Jonas... Is our new stepbrother. Because our mom... Met another guy. And they got married. Yes. In the daytime, this is pretty much skater mecca. I can tell. Yep, skater mecca. I thought since it said graffiti, it was going to be like the one in the... Hey, I'm moving faster now. How did that happen? Maybe you have urgency. Maybe. Um, yeah, I thought it was going to be, a, like, in the caves. Hey, that's... Oh. Clarissa! Oh, no. Clarissa, hold up. Yeah, Clarissa, slow down. Jonas, what happened? Are, are you all right? Oh, I don't like mirrors. Mirrors are great, especially in Jonas, the horror genre. Jonas, can you hear me? Oh no, oh, I he's, don't. He's gone. I don't like the oh, sound. What's in that there. little sign on the wall? Does it say lock and then radio? Is that oh, a lock and then a radio? I think so. Pull out your radio. Oh, 
Oh, that's just the general babble. Yeah, I, I think when something's about to happen, the radio is red. Okay. Oh, I don't know. I, it just looked weird that that poster was there. Yeah. Oh. Was there something outside? I didn't see. Here we go. That sounded like evil radio stuff. There's a light switch on the wall, maybe. Testing, testing. Um, okay. I can't... I, I can't hear anything outside at all, but luckily this radio thing's working. Look, whatever. Clarissa's not in here, and it's just a room, so, like, riddle me that, first of all, and then, second of all, I can't get out. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. Hold on. I'll check. Uh... I, I can't hear anything outside at all, but there's just a really weird lock here. Does anything out there explain what this is? Lock, talk, radio, talk. Ooh, whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! A pretty swood? Hello? Are you... Look, is someone there? Oh, God. When the time comes, let Jonas talk to his mom. What is this? What is this? What does this mean? Who, who are you? That sounded like you, though. Yeah. Ow. Oh, that, yeah, okay. that is a mirror. You know, I thought it was dark out there, but let me tell you, when you're trapped in a broom closet, it gets a lot- Oh, it opened. It opened. Okay, what just happened? Cause that, that sucked. Uh, Clarissa ran in there, disappeared into the walls, yeah, and- Yeah, I'm not really one to hate stuff, but I hated all of that. <laughs> you're not one to hate stuff? I'd say he's oh, been hating everything. there's a padlock code. Everything. Yeah. Three, four, eighteen. It's on a list of, huh, they call codes cookies. Is that slang or something? I don't know, but we got the combo, so great. Hey, did I, did, did you see that? In, in the mirror? The reflection was weird. Uh, don't think I'm nuts or anything, but my reflection kind of gave me, like, fatherly advice that made absolutely no sense when you were stuck just now, so... Wait, seriously? I'm gonna take a picture, see if the flash will make something happen. But I want to look at this. Hang on. Oh, I can't look at it. Okay. I'm coming. It seems all right now. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't anything. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Magic mirror. He took a picture of it. Good, good. We need that. We have magic mirror evidence. Okay, well, Clarissa wasn't there. Oh! The lock has a sign now. It does, it's a Radio poster. Radio locks. The technology here has always been... It's like primitive and from the future. Yeah, no, it's something. Radio locks, we got it. Okay. Radio locks. That'll be a thing later, probably, then. And remember the cookie. 3, 4, 18? Yeah. Remember the cookie, everyone. Remember the cookie, everyone. Don't toss your cookies. I, d I don't have my a notepad, so... 3, 4, oh, never right. mind. 18, <laughs> and voila! Thanks, Alex. Alex got this. Who's that? Oh. I don't know. Okay, just making sure. I'm just gonna pretend it didn't happen, so let's just carry on. Oh. Kirby has a theory. What's Kirby's theory? It may have been an alternate version of us in the mirror, or perhaps from the future. Ooh. Oh, fun picture! I don't like that. There's a stove oh, behind me. It's a colossus. It's a thing. It's, I don't like that it's picture. It's a bad thing. Yes, this seems weird. We have got to control the mirror version of us a couple times now, I think. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna hate to go out in that. So, actually, um, before we press on, I've had to go pee for like a while now. So, since we're stuck anyway, I thought. Oh my god, go in the corner then. I'm sorry. Yosuke I'm sorry. <laughs> I know this is like way too much too soon for us right now, but I'm gonna totally explode. I'll but... force it out fast. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I'm just gonna go over here. This is... 
If the knight needed a capper, this is it. Right here. My vagrant new stepbrother. Peeing on a rat. Don't look at me. <laughs> Be quieter. It's like louder than the rainstorm. I know the uh, acoustics are really carrying it. Whoops. Sorry. Bye. It's great. Well, that was... That was an important scene, everyone. Clarissa! <gasps> Clarissa! Okay, that was definitely her. Go down there. She, Get her. Is this just like a game to her or something? What is she thinking? I mean, I'm freaking out too, but like... Relax, honey. Relax, this might be like honey. a Nona situation where she's just... Uh, losing it a bit. And you know, it just occurred to me, she could also be having like a Ren episode. A Renisode. Possessed, or whatever we want to call it. But Ren... Ren acted like he was underwater. The guy could barely move. Yeah, well, that's true. Hello? Is this thing... Is this... God, is this... Is this going out, or... Wait, I can... Ugh, oh, I can hear myself. That's not... Uh, man, God, maybe she didn't does, see does anybody... us. I don't know, but... Whatever, she still has a radio, so... We still gotta get to her. Okay, are you done talking now? I have radio to do. Thank you. Oh, that was easy. Every individual, it is maintained, is enveloped in a radiance invisible to the carnal eye and only perceived by the soul accustomed to it. Oh. Ah. Remember that, everyone. Okay. Door. We did it. Let's go inside. Handprints. The handprints, handprints are, are a macabre touch. Do you know who did that? Please tell me it's like a known thing teenagers here do or something. It's probably like children. They have such little hands. Yeah, little kids just making a mess of things. What was that? You, you heard that, right? Something just fell. Relax. I'm sure a bird landed on a piece of loose masonry or something. Probably. It's probably fine. I'm gonna radio now. It's always a good chance when there's a red light. If there's a red light, it's a pretty good cue. Does this, the screen wobbles too a little, doesn't it? Um, I haven't noticed that. That's usually when it's like... But right now, it is. Whoa. High in the Cascade Mountains of Washington, the Navy opens the world's largest radio transmitter. Its one million watts can flash a message around the world in a tenth of a second. Hey kids, wanna play a game? Ah. <gasps> oh jeez. We're playing hangman. Oh man. Oh. Be sharp and listen, mister. Oh ho. This is going to tell the classification board a lot about what can be expected of you in the future. How many questions will you be able to get in the Oh uh, no. Like a test? Hey, why are we being tested? What did we do? Here's a simple one to start. So don't hold your breath. Don't breathe. Don't. What is the name of the school you are standing in? Oh, damn it. We're standing in. Isn't this Nine. like a classroom? Eight. I, I thought it was just like uh Fort Milner, right? I mean, that's not a Oh, that's cool. Fudge. Our friends are finding this tough. Yeah. Ooh, Jonas. Oh. You think us oh. Do you think us callous? I don't care. Just don't we hurt. don't hurt playmates. Oh, Whoa, what? Oh. What is going on? Ugh. I feel like I'm stuck on a tilt-a-whirl. Just keep the pointer on the button. Question two. We gotta, we gotta head. Oh. What did the communications officers at Fort Cookies. Miller Cookies. call? Codes? Cookies. 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 Who do you know that? You call codes cookies? There. Now you're cooking. Flip me back over. Coded radio transmitters have an important job, and you wouldn't want them to be unqualified. 
Oh, I can't. Uh, no. I mean, like any job, right? Like anything, right? <laughs> okay. We are an island race. <gasps> and through all our times, the sea has ruled our breaks. But be wary, young ones. All right, if I'm answering the questions, you can leave Jonas out of it, okay? One last round and you've cleared your exam. Pencil's ready. How many officers died in the oh, sinking no. of the USS Canaloa? 53. 10. 53? Dang it! Oh, shoot. Bob, that's not gonna cut it. Oh, no. 97 brave men and women died on the USS Canaloa. 85 officers, 12 passengers. It all adds up to another fact for the classification board. Oh, shoot. Just another fact among many. Man, I didn't need to get that ball. Oh, I wasn't ready for this. Big mom out sitting in the all right, let's try to use the power of radio to bring him back. Well, we didn't get hung all the way. So that's kind of good. Sure. Come on, come on, come on. Oh it's okay, we're getting the getting the demons out. We're getting the demons out and ripping holes in time and space. This is okay. This is okay. We're fixing it. I hope you're fixing it. I think he's dead. Uh oh. The United States submarine Canaloa is shown for the first time in Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. You're the periscope. The commander looks out over the ocean's surface. Canaloa was lost today. Lost at sea, near. Is this? Are you the dead officers that sunk on the Canaloa? We are sunk. Oh. What? What do you want? Spooky. Not fun. Are you feeling better? I'm feeling. Let's start with that. This has been United News, and thank you for listening. Oh, uh, this spooky. is just unbelievable. Anyone? Can anyone just? That's got to be Clarissa. Let's get her and get out of here, or use her radio and get out of here. But let's just get out of here. Okay. We just, we gotta get gone. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. Ooh. This is not a good room. Okay, so what we learned here is we should pay attention to the info tidbits about the island, I think. Well, hopefully we never play Hangman again. I don't want to play Hangman again, but just in case we do, we will be ready. I kind of wish we had enough time to have chat help us. Chorus <laughs> is I know, right? asleep right now. Be still so as not to wake her. Oh, what? Oh, no. Um. Uh, huh? Oh, no. Well, I'm glad Jonas didn't die. I am, too. I'm kind of worried about Jonas. Jonas and Ren have been possessed so far. <laughs> yes. And Clarissa seems a little messed up, so that would yeah. be fun. Yeah, fingers. And we kind of don't know what happened oh, to Nona. Oh, look at this. The super twins decided to grace me with their presence. Ooh, I thought maybe jerk. I wasn't good enough for a house call, doctor. So, um, 
Are you all right? I mean, yeah. Why? Yeah, sure, my hair might be a little weird, but there's not a lot I can do about that. Um, you just sounded off, I guess. Right? Didn't she sound off? I don't really know what she normally sounds like. Well, I mean, I don't know. I'm fine now, so... All right, where's this famous radio? I don't know. I can't get it to do anything I want. Alex, want to take a look at this? I'm a radio supervisor. Radio wizard. Yeah, no, this is... This is like a low-frequency thing. It, it's just meant for the base. It won't... I don't think it can beam out. Really? No, no, no. Isn't there a... officers who know your problems for you will give you a friendly and sympathetic hearing. Oh, who is that? Cross your fingers. <laughs> uh, not now. We're... We're loping again. Crap. Well, just keep me in the loop. I didn't mean to say that. Clarissa! Oh. Is there anything like... Can we cut her down with... Oh... Okay. Okay. What is it? Is something wrong? Uh, or not? We're we've been in a little time loop thing and it's just been kind of extreme. I'm sorry. Yeah, that was a stupid thing to say. Just come on. I'm here with you. Clarissa? I would have swore she was in here. Clarissa? <sighs> oh. Maybe this was the, the thing, the radio she was using. If we can get it to... I mean, she got it to kind of work, so we should be home free. Tape player. Let's use our tape player and our spinny spin magic. That got real dark. Was she hanging? Yeah. Oh, that is pretty dark. Clarissa. Clarissa, it's us. It's Alex. Are you okay? Alex, don't worry. Oh, she's in the she's window. Like, never forget she's that like I am an American. Clarissa. Yep. Oh! Oh! oh my God! Why would she do that? Why would she do that? We're 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 not. It's not like we're. Oh God! She she was she was like possessed. I I, I just I, I just uh, this is Jonas. This is so horrible. I don't... I don't even know what to... We... What? Uh... We should get to the others. I... I can't even imagine telling them. Or... Or how to tell them. I'm... Telling them? I just want to... We have to round them up before anything else... Before anything like this. Like... I don't even... I don't even know what happened here, Jonas. If it's... If they're thinking of doing the same thing... We'll... We'll figure it out. This is unbelievable. Ah. Oh, I don't want to go over there. I was shocked. Do I use the radio again? <laughs> it's still red. Uh, maybe? I don't know. It, they said they don't hurt their playmates. Yeah, maybe there's another force. Yeah. Because they talked about that old lady. And just as guilty as a soldier would be who deserted his post under fire. Now, in making an example of you, I... Orderly! Orderly! I think this has been done. Yeah, I think this is it. Yeah. Is she still there? Uh, oh. Just Come blocked? On, Is it blocked off? Yeah. <gasps> okay. Oh, I made it. Wow. Um, there's she's gone. no way she got up She's from gone. That, right? Of course she's gone. Like, there's through the no door. Way. We both saw what happened. Wait, she's alive? How, how is. How is that possible? I bet all the money in my pocket that no one could survive that. So why isn't she here? This isn't possible, because unless she's built of rubber... We did just go through a uh, sort of a temporal anomaly, a time thing. Maybe it's screwed with what happened? Well, regardless, good news? Yeah, we'll see. 
We'll see. Oh, I hope she's okay. I would hope so too. That was spooky. The ghosts, the ghosts just want to be free. They is, need time. Is leave possible? I don't know. <laughs> Let's just get back to Ren at the comm tower. Maybe he's had better luck than us at anything. Oh, we're back over here. Well, Ren and M Nona, Nona. Yeah. Should be at the con tower, right? Right. Okay, so we want to go back. Polygia says he knew Clarissa was a ghost. <laughs> Clarissa could be a ghost. Azura thinks that Clarissa was a tigger. Maybe even a tigger. They love to bounce. Yeah. But they're not made of rubber. No. Or a poo bear. But the wonderful thing about Tigger is that he's the only one. Mayday! May! Oh, crap. This isn't. Ren, this is just coming out of the speakers on the roof thing. It's not. <laughs> Ugh. My god, is this what I sound like? <laughs> well, how can now anyone we know where the little stand and listen to me all day? Let's oh. pull up, see how they're doing. Yeah. Okay, so we want to go to. We want to head north. Kind of like left and then north. Okay. This way. How can anyone listen to her? <laughs> yeah, we want to go to Hard On oh, Tower. Oh, that's right. Yeah, there it is. Go to the comm tower. We were closer to the comm tower than I thought we were. Well, because I think we kind of made a big circle. Oh, yes, I think you're right. I saw you guys coming up from the tower. The Dick Tower. <laughs> I think you mean Harden Tower. Please don't ruin that for me. It's all I have left. How's Nona doing? We heard what I imagine was her first radio cast ever earlier. Yeah, no, she's, I don't know. I mean, she's frazzled one moment, then that makes me frazzled, then she sees that I'm frazzled, so she like freezes up. Any luck contacting somebody? Nope, no luck to speak of. And honestly, I thought this week was gonna be a big karma dump. I found like 50 bucks in the street, and I knew who it belonged to, and I well, only- Well, we're all here now. Well, no, I half. Mean, except to Clarissa, <laughs> but we're mostly all here, and we'll come up with something. I hope so. The stupid radio's been what my therapist would call a negative reinforcer. Just won't work right. Just, I'm so glad I took that second brownie. What? It's kind of, you know- Wait, second brownie? Ren, please tell me this is a joke, okay? This is a joke, right? Mmm, why would this be a joke? I'm not joking. Wait, you're not messing with us? You seriously took another one? It was like, it was like half of one, all right? It's just to level me out. <laughs> it'll, it'll bring me back up. That's what it does. I cannot believe you. You're gonna keel over in like a purple haze while we try and save our lives. I'm gonna be fine. Last time I just ate too much. This was a gimme. It's baby food. Oh, God. Ah, <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, Ren, you goofball. There's always a stoner. He's the shaggy of the group. Yes, it's been confirmed he is shaggy. Yeah, and we have, like, two Velmas. A couple Velmas. Uh... Does that mean Jonas, Jonas Fred? Jonas is pretty much Fred just because he's kind of... He's Fred by default. He's Fred. He's kind of just useless. Fred was a little useless. He was the leader. This thing doesn't work. Not getting anything? I'm getting something, but it's like, I don't know. What won't work? The, uh, radio? It, like, works, but, uh, sorry, I was, like, weird earlier. But, hey, have you figured out what's going on yet? You have to know something. You've been, like, out there. It's huh? been ghosts. Nona, ghosts are going on. The blackouts, the hallucinations, it's all been ghosts. Ghosts? Really? Yeah, and it would really help if you could just jump to the believing us part. It would save a headache. <laughs> oh, oh, I got it. This is great. This is perfect. I know exactly what to do. Get Dude. in here. Yeah, totally. It's Maggie Adler. Boom. Maggie Adler? Yeah, she has a boat. Had a boat. I mean, the boat's still here, but she's not. She's dead. Ren, what? <sighs> You could have mentioned this at any point. I mean, we walked right past it. I know. It. I'm sorry. 
but I've been like stewing in my own panic here for the last couple hours. My sister Allie worked at the parks office in town. She had to deliver that old woman her mail every day. I know that they have the key. Okay, so... No, no, gonna... no, we are not. We are not going to go with the plan. The first plan put forth by the group's resident burnout. <laughs> hey, come on. I'm not a burnout. Okay. Well, and I'm not saying it's the best plan, but what other plan is there really, Jonas? Oh, I don't know. Fix the radio, find Clarissa, set fire to the mug shop. And these are just off the top of my head. Yeah, I'm still worried about Clarissa. But we don't know where Clarissa is. I'm not saying literally do that. I'm just... <laughs> there's other things we can do. <laughs> but there isn't. Ren, understand it is completely your fault that we're in this to begin with. What? And now you Aww. want us to trust you when things are really bad? You had Alex bring the radio. You brought us here. Come on, Jonas, this is nobody's fault. Ghosts are never anybody's fault, certainly not <laughs> ours. Yeah, guys, this isn't really a productive. Come on, it Jonas. It should be obvious to even the cheap seats that you're the only new weirdo who throws this whole social harmony thing we got going on out of whack. Oh. I mean, we all grew up with each other. Alex, Guys, no you know there's no television cameras here, right? Take the energy down a notch. Alex, I am not putting my life in his hands. This whole thing has been a complete joke to this guy. I, I can't believe you're even kind of defending him. Jonas. The stories I heard about this guy, he's a maniac, uh -oh. okay? Oh. He's gonna trash our only legitimate means of getting out of here if you buy into this crap. Legitimate means? What are we even talking about? Guys, boys, stop boys. It. Stop. The collective neuroses call a truce, okay? Yes, please. Look, I don't care what Caveman Jonas says. <laughs> there what is, is a vault at Maggie Adler's house. And the key to her house is back on Main Street. And the backup plan for when this thing fails spectacularly is two of us have to stay here by the semi-functioning walkie-talkie. Fine by me. Alex has the radio. Are you okay to go into town? Not that you... Not, not that you wouldn't be okay. Yeah, it's not like... You know... I'm fine. Whatever, I'm ready. She shouldn't... You shouldn't go alone. We don't need, like, three of us up here. Yeah, I'll totally go. It's my... Like, brilliant idea or whatever. Uh -oh. Are you kidding? Your food is gonna start kicking in any second. Beyond that, you're a completely unreliable basket case. I am not a basket case. You Just shut Which up. Which boy are we Both taking? Of you. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, keeping in mind who you've been able to depend on the whole night. Yes, keeping in mind who you're tired of. Keeping in mind who's taller. Who do you want coming <laughs> with you? Nona. Nona. Come with me. What? Really? I mean... Why would you I leave guess. these two together? Why are you isn't making me shack up with this guy? It's my friggin' plan. Why? <laughs> this is why. Easiest question I've been asked all night. This is a total punt, Alex. Yeah, this no, is it's fine. This will be a good... If you don't want to take sides, don't take sides. But no, nobody's happy with this. Nona's <sighs> happy. Hey, Nona's happy. You're happy, right? Um, sure. Oh. Boys, boys. Oh, we picked Nona. We picked Nona. Ginger wanted Ren for stoner antics. <laughs> Plojo wanted Ren. I mean, Jonas. Plojo wanted Jonas. Look, just go easy on Ren when we get back, okay? He's fragile. He has, like, a squirrel heart. I'll see you when you get back, Alex. It's okay. Azura wanted Nona, so... Okay. We're still friends, Ren. If Missy's sixth grade birthday party couldn't split us up, this certainly won't. Good luck with the thing, Alex. <laughs> Have fun with your stuff and things. Yeah, jeez. Girl squad out. Girl squad out. Come on, homie. We out. Jonas is kind of rude, but so is Ren. They're both not being very nice. And I think it's because they both are crushing on Alex, which is weird. You think they're crushing on Alex? I think so. Why Ren, else Ren would they... Ren likes Nona. Oh, yeah, he does. And Jonas is your brother. Well, Ren also got super salty when, when, we, when he found out we were going to a school out of state. Uh, who knows? Who even knows? Who even knows with, with these teenagers? All these hormones flying about. They're just crazy. 
It's not the best way to deal with a ghost situation, if you know what I mean. Alright, come on, Nona. I haven't spent any time with Nona also, so I thought that was a... That was an okay choice. You just wanted a girl squad. Teen girl squad, go! The ugly one! The ugly one! You're really leaving her behind. Well, she... She waited until I was done with the ladder before she went on it. Okay, so we need to go to Epiphany Fields. Floyd Joe brings up the point that usually when girls go somewhere alone in horror movies, they die. Oh dear. Um, I hope I don't die. Good luck. You know, I do remember you from Mr. Tuttle's class. You sit in the, uh, back. Behind Jake. I just forgot. I'm sorry. <coughs> oh, hey, it's it's nothing to be sorry Does she about. She have a cough? I don't talk Apparently. Much, so I don't know why you'd remember me. I'm also just, like, never there. It's a loophole where, I don't know if you know this, but if you ditch, you get a detention. And if you don't go to that, you get suspended. Oh. But suspensions are like paid vacation. You can just do your work over. So... Wait, Maybe if she's you don't not really go to like class. Maybe not. What are you doing instead all day? Jenny, the TA, she lets me practice ballet in her studio. Cool. So that, really? Oh, and don't tell anyone, but my birthday's in three days, and I'm having a thing, and you're invited. Oh, uh, I think uh. Carissa's out of town, so it shouldn't be a problem. Well, happy early birthday! And my family we celebrate birthdays all week, so you're four days late. You gotta get in the mindset. <laughs> Thanks. I'm sorry. I don't even know why I brought it up. That's See, not true. I was thinking about... Uh, well, I'm worried about Clarissa and... Well, I was thinking about my last birthday when... No. Actually, sorry. Never mind. This has nothing to do with anything. I'm just in a fog right now. No, come on. I want to hear this. It was last year, your birthday. Go. You're just, digging in. This was when yeah. Nicole was in her car accident, and... So, of course, we cancel and go visit her. And I'm not going to pout about that. It's common decency. It's fine. But afterwards, after this totally emotionally draining night, Clarissa still came over and surprised me with this huge cake. Aww. And we stayed up and watched all my favorite movies. And she didn't have to do that. That's sweet, actually. Anyways, my birthday's in three days, and I just hope she's okay. That's all. Aww. Uh, we'll find we'll her. Find her, Nona. <laughs> Prepare for the worst. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. Okay, I'm, I had to check my map. I didn't want to start going the wrong way. Yeah. Uh, Clarissa, I think, from what we've gathered, probably hates Alex because she was nosy when she was dating her brother, right? Um, dating I kind of think she's probably just sort of a reminder of Michael. Right. And that's probably hard for her. And I, it doesn't seem like Alex was very She wasn't nice to her. Yeah. So, I don't think it's completely Clarissa's fault. Yeah. She probably didn't think Clarissa was allowed to grieve the death of her brother. Yeah. And that's not fair. That's not fair. So, which way do we need to go? Down? Down? Down can left? I, can I go down? Well, you're at the top of a mountain, so... Maybe this way? Let's see, that takes me to Milner Outpost, and that's going up. We don't want that. Oh, right. wait, maybe we can go this way. I was going to say try that path. Yeah, the, da the down path. Clarissa has a, has a heart. Yeah. But I'm surprised that uh, Nona, more of a slacker than we thought. Nona is more of a slacker than we thought. Special Ooh. rocks. Hey, Nona, check this out. You haven't seen this yet. I, I th I'm pretty sure Ren invited us to this thing, Ginger. I don't think Clarissa was super happy we were here. Yeah, I don't think we knew Clarissa was going to be there. It seemed to be a case where we thought more people were showing up as well. Yes. And apparently Nona didn't even know Alex, so... There we go. Jake 3. The island
Island is famously named after Colonel Caleb Edwards for his glorious and triumphant slaughtering of countless families during oh. one of the great ethnic cleansings of the 20th century. The forceful removal of an ignorant people to make space for destined oh. homers is a time-honored tradition in our still young country. And you will be a part of that heritage, Alex. Whoa! Do not resist. It will be over soon. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Let's do, get away from this. Do not now. resist. Oh. Uh, It'll be over soon. Oh. Uh, What's uh, down there? I'm trying to go down there. There we go. Oh, uh, let's go away from that. I don't know if that's a code. Those rocks are evil, man. Those rocks are evil. This version oh. of what would today be considered a blast and fallout shelter was commissioned and built in 1946. The above ground hub leads to a bunker 60 feet beneath the Earth's surface, molded with layers of poured concrete and packed earth. The lead blast door will only unlock through use of the call and response system, a setup devised by Lieutenant Commander Matthew Feinberg to prevent tampering. If the Catbird Station, a small watch point in Edwards Forest, radios in a decoded attack, the shelter door will automatically open, triggering an alarm and compulsory evacuation. I'm sure that'll be important later. That'll probably be important later. Let's see. I feel like I'm going the wrong way. Well, maybe. Oh, no, we're headed. It looks like we're headed down. Somewhat. Yeah, it looks kind of like it. But we can't go through there, because that's locked. Yeah. That must be the lady's house. Yep. Yeah. We, that's, we gotta go get the key, though, right? We gotta get the key. I think it's saying anomaly and then the number of the anomaly. Yes, it's very tiny and hard to read. When you go over the rock. Yeah, um, I think if... Hi, Herple Pippo. Yeah, we've never played this before. Hello, Herple. Yes, we are stumbling through this game. It's very stumbly. Let me see. I think... Oh, I thought we could look at the anomalies, but I don't think so. Nope, it just says letters. We can look at our photos. Some pretty good pics. Some good pictures. We took that one earlier off screen, I guess. Don't die. Don't die, Nehab. It's gonna be okay. Oh no, what's wrong with Nehab? I don't know yet. Oh. I don't know if I want to hang out with these spooky rocks. They I, said not nice things last time. You gotta get that info. That's just nice banjo. Yeah. Oh. It's always the other way. See, it gets glowy. First, we will eat and drink. And then we'll go and see the girls, yes? First, we'll eat and drink, and then we'll go and see the girls, yes? How, how many of you are there? How, how many of you are there? talking about the sunken people? I'm guessing so. Hi, Mahab Goblin. Hello, Mahab Goblin. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, thanks for coming and watching Oxen Free. Yeah. Let's see. Double check my map. Okay, we're on the way. Send me on the way. See what this is. This data command annex, as it had been dubbed, was used during the base's early years as the communication nerve center for outside military installations. It was also the primary office of Marianne Bozek, a civilian who developed communications protection through the invention of the famed wall system. A type of radio frequency identification, wall, standing for wave assisted lock assigned each person who was stationed at Fort Milner a call sign through which they could use their portable two-wave radios to unlock prescribed doors and gates. 
Though the mechanics are considered outmoded today, the island still uses this security method to honor its rich history. Oh. Do you think you can radio open that door? Maybe. Maybe not yet. Maybe not yet. I feel like that's something that might come into play. This data command Ah, uh, you're just connecting to the... Yeah. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna let me do it right now. Oh, poor Nihab was choking. Oh! Oh man, I'm glad... Is he okay? He's okay now. I'm glad people were there to check on you. Yeah, that's scary. That's terrifying. More laughter. Yeah, Nona's not really picking up the small talk, is she? Uh, she really isn't. Maybe I should have brought Ren. He yeah, Ren have... probably would never have stopped talking. Then he would have never stopped talking, yeah. Eating those magic cupcakes. Or special brownies. Whatever they were. He wasn't quite sure either. So, it's the Parks and Facilities building. That's down a bit, right? If I'm remembering the right building, I don't think it's far. Yep, we just gotta break in, find the key, if there's a key, hopefully there's a key, and leave. Hopefully there's a key. We have to break in. Maybe we should have brought our stepbrother. Ah, the numbers were blue on the radio at the door. That's true. Oh, does that mean something? Oh, because it's probably a, a lock. Right. Ah, yeah, Maybe I on did. on the way back. I did notice they look different. I like how people in chat have taken sides between Ren and Jonas. Oh, we've got Team Ren Clarissa, and Jonas. What are you? How <gasps> did she get up there? What are you doing? Oh, she's are on you, the light uh, post. Clarissa, what? Uh oh. Oh. Alex, Christ, what's wrong with her? Clarissa, can you? Can you hear me? Clarissa, wake up. Fight them off. Take control of yourself. Um, hang in there, baby. Whoa. I did Alex, good. Uh, please, can you just... I don't know what you can do, but can you just do something? Please, just try anything. Like, uh... Clarissa! Try. This happened to Jonas, too. It's... It's... I, I don't know. It's like when they want to talk or something. Oh, uh, God. Clarissa, can you... Yeah, they seem to be at 102. Can you hear me? No, that's not true. We're making a time space hole. Alex, come on, just please try and get her down. At least Purple's on team. Somehow. I just don't want to die. That's probably a good team to be on. Clarissa, can you come down? Whoa. Oh. Yeah. You think you can control me? Clarissa, I'm, I'm trying to help you. This is, this will help me. Help me, how will that help me? I was looking forward to seeing you. Yes, I used to dream about something like this. It, it's helped the others, Ren and Nona. They've gone through the same... Gone through what? Their children have gone through nothing. And when you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. Oh. Is she okay? Or she's... I think so. Oh, Clarissa, are you okay? <sighs> you scared the crap out of us. I'm fine. I can... I'm fine. Okay. Are you sure? Because that didn't look great. Back to normal, I hope? Back to normal? What does that even... How did I get here? You don't remember how you got here? <laughs> uh... There's been, like, time disturbances or something and i think that's what's been teleporting people around so and we just had one time disturbances so you're just blank no i remember something i remember you with that radio and i remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening oh wait it's clarissa's turn already yeah it's my turn what Welcome do you mean it's clarissa's game. turn already I haven't but even that's asked not where one we question. were. Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. Wait, what's what's going on? We're back at the. What? It's Clarissa's turn. Yeah, it's Clarissa's turn. And you, of all people, should know what my question is going to be because I'm not going to waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, and your idiot best friend, and your new step. 
Look, when we went into the cave, we found a thing, and I used the radio to somehow tune it in, and I think it jump-started everything. I see. But I mean, come on, like, who knew this would happen? We thought it was a weird trick of light or something. Jonas, now you're seeing who you're stuck to until graduation. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. She it was both of us. Jonas was there too. It's not like I decided to end the world tonight or something. Oh my God. You see this? No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God, the town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking forehead. Clarissa. And the giant lit up Christmas tree reason why is that Michael Whoa. is dead because of her. Oh. Because of her. Like, it you... would take a very sick person to see it that way. And I would love to hear the explanation. Michael was gonna leave town. He was free. He was out of here until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa. Ugh, she is a You weren't there. No one was there. So how the hell would you know? Everyone knows. Everyone knows the freak sister who let her brother die while she clung scared to the bowline. Okay, I'm sorry, but enough. Clarissa, that's enough. It's too much right now. I can't, I can't believe. Ugh. She's seriously enough. I thought you would. Jesus Christ, can't you be with me on this? No. no. I am with you, Clarissa. <laughs> but you're a horrible person. But we came here to do a thing, and that thing is going to get us home. So let's get home. No. Uh, Clarissa, what are you? All the outs and free. Hey. Whoa. Man, do you ever, do you ever get deja vu? Jeez, I just got a serious thing of goosebumps from one. Boy. Uh, I guess you don't remember, like, anything that just happened, right? Um, to what anything are you referring, exactly? Clarissa, like, totally freaking out on me. Blaming me for everything more than everything? Like, like just now? Um, nope. I don't really remember that. Okay, well, the office that we gotta try to get into is like right there. So let's try and whatever our way in. Well, Nona's taking this really well. She's really fine with it. <laughs> we're gonna try. We're gonna try to get into the office thing, right? To get the key. Is that down? Yeah. Okay. Maybe? Or maybe this that? door? Let's see what this door is. Ollie oxen free. Yep, this isn't budging. Um, I don't know about that. I think, yeah, I think we can just bust our way through, honestly. <laughs> the lock looks pretty worn. Bust our way through? What is that supposed to mean? I think we should try it. Yeah, Nona! Nona, go! <laughs> Do it, Nona! Girl power. I think Clarissa still got the the spirit in her. Thumbs. I think so. I don't. We didn't. It didn't turn into a triangle. Yeah, we didn't fully exercise her. No. What is all this stuff? Let's look at. Look at spaceship. Let's look at mural. Look at mural, Alex. Look at mural, Alex. Family love, hey, Alex. Know what kind of jet that is? Nope. Cool. 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 Carry on. You're, she isn't fun. To Nona's sign up pretty for the blank. Aquatics program, please register at the front desk. <laughs> That's an uh, angry okay. cabinet. Has that happened before? Oh yeah. It's I feel like we're like a call-in show or something for them. Nice. Nice. All right. Nona's taken this real well. Yeah. She's real well adjusted. Yeah, she's fine <gasps> with this. Here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think. But it's like there's way more stations on oh. the dial. Oh. oh. Neato. Here's another one. It says they're wall radios. The lock Wave ones. assisted lock. There it is. Whatever that means. Oh, duh. It says right here that each frequency is like a key to open the doors around here. So they're like ID tags or something. It must work <sighs> great. Let's hike it back to the gate. Ooh, wait. Wait, here's like a... Wait. What is this? Personal effects of Margaret Dorothy Adler. Let's take those. 
Take them. Why would her stuff be here? Didn't her family, or, like, hasn't her family been carting her things back to town? No, we can start back. I just wanna... Okay, here. <laughs> Oops. Steal a boat and leave. All right. Whom it should concern? This island and its history is a lie. Oh. Jeez, she didn't have fond memories of this place, did she? What? What could that mean? I have been compelled by both forces outside of my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. But now I feel any further inaction may carry a far greater risk. Mm, maybe she wasn't oh, crazy. Many truths. Shh. Inside you'll find <laughs> two wall equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station 140.1 and used it to relay clues to the nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons and the notes within and discover the true chronicle of the island. Oh, scavenger hunt! Oh, scavenger hunt! Scavenger hunt! <laughs> <laughs> wait. Nerd. Wait. To whosoever finds the material, know that I'm discomfited in keeping it hidden and ashamed for the lies I help preserve. Oh, but check also out the know cars that I acted in what Mishira. I thought were the best oh. interests for all at the time. And truly for the interest of time itself. Margaret Adler. Oh, <laughs> I've had, oh, I've seriously had like dreams about this. Finding a secret, digging it up, it turning out to be a mechanical unicorn. Yeah, we've all had the mechanical unicorn dream. But I think I'm ready just to go home. To be totally face up with you. <laughs> yeah, let's be real face up, guys. Yeah, it's it's okay, Nona. We're gonna be face up and all that cool stuff, but we're gonna go check out the car. You gotta look at a car first. Yeah. Maybe the car is like a boat car. Like a duck boat? Yeah, like a duck boat. Hang on, I'm gonna go to this real quick. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched Kanaloa. on January 15, 1941 and commissioned into service at the end of that year under the command of Lieutenant James Earl Clapman. On October 28, 1943, it was sunk by the Japanese sub-chaser Tokusada some 25 miles off the coast of Washington and remains, to this day, the only submarine casualty in American waters. Wow. Some bad stuff has happened around here. Right, I wonder what the, what the deep secrets of the island are. Probably the submarine full of ghosts? Probably. Radio car. Radio the car? Hello, car! Hmm. My radio is brand new and spiffy. It's very big. Very many channels. There are so many channels. I'm going all the way to the 70s. Asterix, this is Asterix of Weekend at Back on the Asterix. It's getting glowier. Wow. Wow, there's a lot more channels. Maybe it didn't get glow here. Oh, this is gonna take a lot more time. Everything becomes an antique eventually. Oh. The radio didn't work on the car. Antique. We, we got that little bit. She, yeah. She's, remember, she tunes in at the beacons at 140. Oh, was it 140? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't... Yeah, at the beginning of the at the beginning of the game it did say car next to it and I didn't I didn't know how to use spacebar at that time, so Zara said go to the front of the car, but the front of the car? Okay, I'll give it a try. Or maybe you meant go to the front of the uh radio. Or she. I'm sorry. Let's see. 
Oh, yeah, I can't go to the... It might have been in front of the radio, which was where we were. Oh, okay. 140 was where we were. Everything becomes a Alpha, November, Tango, India, Quebec, Uniform, Echo, eventually. All right, I think that's it. Yeah. So there's big secrets on the island. Big Lots of radios. Secrets. And apparently Maggie Adler had all the secrets. Pro maybe. Maybe. We, we think we nick it. We might have done the car already. Oh, maybe. But we have key now to open that gate. So do we have to, yes. we have to go back to Ren and uh, Brother Jonas? Um, I think I think actually we're just going to the house, to get to look right? For the boat. Yeah. When are you gonna play Outlast on stream? Outlast? Oh no no no. No no no. I couldn't. Just the do DLC that. then, right? I couldn't do that. This is your limit for spookiness. This is my spookiness limit. Maybe we can check out some Goosebumps games. <laughs> Maybe. Only if Jack Black is in it. Oh. Yeah. Three times. Three times? Only if he was in it three times. How would he be in it three times? Oh, because he, he was... He played three roles in that <laughs> movie. Yeah, that's Why right. Why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees and the sun's out, you know? It, it is? And I thought you said you were going to go swimming anyway. Oh. The sun is not out. The sun is... I guess oh. it barely came out just now, but... See, this is when I get punished for watching the weatherman. He said it was going to be like overcast. Is that Michael? Yeah. He said there was a chance for clouds. Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? I thought we said Michael? we'd bring drinks. Wait, Michael? Uh, yeah? What is it? What? How? Why am I here? What? You don't want to hang out at the beach? There's stuff in town, but it's all boring knick-knack shops or whatever. No, I mean, I mean, why are you here? Why? Wait, am I supposed to be doing something right now? You gotta get your dad. I gotta get dad nightcrawlers from the shop. Yeah, but we're gonna do that on our way back. Where's, where's Jonas? Jonas? Who's Jonas? Is someone else coming? Yeah, is that a friend of yours? A friend. He's, ju he's just a friend, but he was... Well, I mean, if he's here, there's only two places he could be, the beach or the town. Yeah, it's a small island. I'm sure you'll run into him. Today turned out to be a flawless day. It really Aww, did. Oh, she was nice. Yeah, no, it did. Yeah. It really did. I wanted to bring a kite, but I thought you'd laugh at me. This is really quite insane, what's happening right now. I'm just sorry that apparently nobody realizes how insane this is. I know, oh, right? Nobody different. really appreciates oh, it. Oh, it is, yeah. Are this good. No, it is perfect ice cream and tennis weather. That is rare. We have, like, brown hair. Yeah. So they were communicating through Nona there, I think, right? Uh, what do you mean? Because she said that line that connected it. Oh, maybe. Ooh. Oh. Little jittery. Real jittery. Okay, so we were having. Are we having a flashback? Or did we drop into a time it's hole? It's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's. What's his face? Mr. Collins' English. Truthfully, I've. Um... I've... Ah, sorry. I think, huh. yeah, I, <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry because I do things like that. <laughs> oh God, you idiot! Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> okay, I guess. The soccer so... ball. Uh, <laughs> if I were to ask you if you were um, past Clarissa. That wouldn't make any sense to you, right? Past Clarissa? Like, like am I past the name Clarissa? Or, I guess I don't understand. Uh, forget it. It's all right. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. 
I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close, and, like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. Aww. So, I think it would be cool if we could, like, continue to do things together. Yeah, I, uh, totally understand. And, yeah, let's, uh, do stuff, you know. Cool, cool. Michael, uh, he loves you, like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but... He talks about you all the time. Aww. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and Alex let the frogs out in science class. Isn't she hilarious? Thanks for telling me. Yeah, of course. I had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to? Six? Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. So, apparently, you love me. Is that right? <laughs> Well, if I don't, I don't know why I got you that skateboard for your birthday. <laughs> you skate? Not yet. Yeah, and the no helmet part kind of sends a message, right? I'm not one for subtlety. So, you I ball. actually really want a cold something, so I'm going to run into town and get, like, a soda. Anybody want anything? Um, no, nah, I'm good. No, thanks. I'll be back. Aw, Clarissa was okay, nice. I'm here. What's she was story? nice. I want the news. I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? Things are bad, actually. Mom and Dad aren't great, and I'm like a hair trigger away from spinning off this planet. And hey, hey, look. First of all, Mom and Dad are Mom and Dad. They fight a lot, but they're whatever. Everything always blows over. It's gonna be fine. You're too young. We're too young to worry about marital discord. Yeah. Sure. And look, I know this was supposed to be our day, but I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so... But I owe you. Yeah, no problem. Just don't get all smoochy-smooch while I'm in the general vicinity. <laughs> because that would ever happen. <laughs> it's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? Uh... Oh, God, do what you want, man. Don't ask me for advice. <laughs> okay, I'm taking that as endorsement, just so you know. You know, I never noticed. That's a good-looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. <sighs> you know what, Bucko? I need it more than you. <laughs> Bucko? You haven't called me that in years. Oh. Sad. That was a sad moment. That was mean ghosts. Was, was it mean? Maybe they were being nice ghosts so you could see your brother again. I don't know. Or maybe, yeah, who knows? So many things could be happening. Alex, are you, all right, are you back with me now? Man, I you've been out. acting like a, I don't even know how to put it, like a bird just flitting around in circles for 10 minutes. I was about to, like, slap you or scream or something. <laughs> Nona, I, I just saw... I think I just saw my brother Mike. What? How? Where? Here? Is he... I was... Uh, it was like those time jumps we're sometimes having, right? This was... It's like we've been having ripples, and this was a wave. I was bumped all the way back to when Michael was still alive. Right now? Uh, yes, right now. Right now, Nona. <laughs> I thought I thought that conversation was going to continue. Oh, a letter. Was what? Yeah. I didn't know Maggie grew up in Maine. There's a similar statue of a soldier in Maine where I grew up. That it seems like part of a letter. Huh. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. This way? I don't think so. Uh, no, it's not letting me go that way. We're going this way. This way, Nona. Onward to victory. Victory! Oh! Onward to spooky rocks. Isn't this the one we did already? Is it? Maybe. Maybe not. I thought we haven't been over here. Oh, yes, we must have done it already because it was marked. Dun, dun, dun. You're right. Okay, I'm a little lost. I'm sorry. Uh, 
And do you think having the key to the to the door is a good stopping point? I think it might be for today. Okay. Now we have the key. Hey, oh, why never mind. are you at the tower? Oh no. This one got a little antsy. That's Weird okay. stuff was playing on the radio. That voice said I had a mother's laugh. What does that even mean? <laughs> Anyways, are we happy? We are happy. We got a new radio that's supposed to open doors and gates in some magical way. Oh, thank God. I was getting nervous that you would have walked all that way and then not found anything. Seeing as how it was my advice to uh, do the whole thing. Yeah, Clarissa's gone though. Gone? Gone like dead or? No, I guess there was a, what'd you guys call it? Like a time loop thing? She pretty much got transmogrified to someplace else. It's Weird. sad that any of those words make any sense to me, but... Time looped away? Yes. Yes. Time looped away. Time looped away. And it's time for us to loop away. <laughs> That's the way to do it. <laughs> Walk five miles while watching a stream. That's awesome. Oh, that's, that's what great. I need to do. Good job. I wish I had an elliptical. I know. That's impressive. Yeah. And typing at the same time. That's pretty that's pretty talented. I think I'd die if I walked two miles. <laughs> Pokemon Go has been murdering me. But yeah, thank you all for joining us. It was it's been fun playing this game and I and sorry for the technical difficulties. Yes, we we are aware it's stuttering and it's because our computer is bad. It's chugging. It's chug luggin. But if you want us to uh, keep playing, let us know and we'll keep playing it. Seems Seems like people don't want us to stop streaming, but it's, it's time to go for the night. I think it's time to go for the night. But we'll, if you guys like the game, we'll keep playing it on a different day. Yeah. We can make that happen. Yeah. So we'll be back on Thursday night at 8 p.m. Central. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you guys then. See you guys then. We'll probably play this. Good night. Bye.